This guy right here in the white with the tag, why do you raise your hand, dude? May God have mercy on my enemies, because I fucking won't. Jason's like, what the fuck are we doing? Most of you in here, you're quitters. You know why you're never going to fucking make it? It's because you quit. You fucking quit. They banished me, never took a scene. Place where the years always fill the screens. So hot that the land only grows weeds. All right, guys. All right, so listen. Number one, listen, I want to tell you guys something. This is super important, all right? Number one, I'm not here to motivate you. Because if you're not motivated, you don't need to be in this room. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, today I'm here to teach you. I'm going to tell you who I am for 30 seconds, and I'm going to move on in case somebody doesn't know. And for the rest of the time, I want to teach you how to build something that no one can fucking tear away from you, and you can build an empire that you never thought you could dream of. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, now listen, people think that I'm a sales guy. I am a sales guy. I changed my life in sales at 18. Everybody, in a minute, you're going to sit down, and you're going to write something down. If I don't sell something, then I can't make as much money as I want to make. People that sell sh are rich. Do you guys understand? Yeah. So if you want to get rich, what do you got to do? Okay. Because the second you forget about that, some of you guys in here are title chasers. When am I, I going to get promoted? Never fucking stop selling. Never. You can never, ever stop selling. Is your product good? Yeah. You guys believe in your shit? Yeah. You got a good company? Yeah. Okay. How do you sell something? It's simple. Keep the client's goals in the center of the decision. They're gonna make a decision. Does your product help them? Keep their goals in the center of that decision. You'll close everybody. That's the way this works. Selling is so easy. At 18 years old, I was broke. And I wanna tell you guys something. My mom left when I was two, five brothers and sisters, Jerry Springer show, I'm a loser. 18 years old, I find someone, and it was called a mentor that believed in me. And I was lost, and I didn't know that there was a great life out there, and I didn't believe in me. And this guy invested in me. And today, I'm gonna invest in and I'm going to share some things with you that if you'll listen to what my wife said, if you'll be present, some of you in here, I swear to God, I'll fucking throw you out of here if I catch you on your phones unless you're taking notes. You know why? Because you don't deserve to grow. And I don't want anybody to see your fucking undisciplined ass in this room while we're changing our lives. Okay, is that a deal? Yeah. Okay, so if somebody sees somebody fucking around, say, hey, get them out of here. We'll have security come throw them out. Okay, because they don't need to be in this room. They're a fraud. They said they wanted to come here to grow. Bullshit. They lied to themselves and their family. Guys, I don't care what industry you're in. I don't care what vehicle you're in. Are you the top 1% in it? That's what I give a shit about. Does that make sense? Yeah. Some of you guys are in an industry right now, and you're like, well, I want to get another industry. You ain't fucking doing anything with the industry you're already in. Little excuse fucking maker. Come on, man. You suck. That's your problem. You're not really doing anything where you're at, but you want to go somewhere else and do something? Bro, look in the mirror. Okay, you're not any good, which is why we gotta self-develop, which is what we're doing today. I got into management for a minute and I started learning that the only way to make money in management is to make my whole team great. Because you guys know you get a smaller percentage, right? You get a big percentage when you're on your own, you get a small percentage when you get a big team, am I right? Yeah. If everybody don't produce, you're fucking broke, am I right? So what do you gotta do? You gotta brainwash people that they're worth it. So for a living, and when I was in management, and when I was a leader, I brainwashed people that they were worth it. That's all I did. I got up to about two and a half million dollars a year in income. I'm happy as hell. I keep fucking getting betrayed. I hate betrayal. I hate people who don't keep their word. You guys want to get rich? You want to build a fucking life that no one else ever has? You're going to have to do the hardest thing in your life, which is keep your word. It's the hardest thing that I've ever done is keeping my fucking word. You guys want to get rich? You want to have a bad marriage? You want your wife to be proud of you or your husband? You want your fucking team to be with you until you die? You want your clients to love you? You want to make a legacy life? Keep your fucking word because no one else is. No one. Today is the truth. Today, if you'll listen to me and you'll kill your pride, your ego, and your entitlement, you will get it all and you'll get it fast. Get ready for pain. Get ready for suffering. Get ready for hate. All you got to do is make a decision today to change. That's it. So today I'm going to ask number one, and today we got a nine figure business. We built it in three years and I want to tell you something. Who else in here wants to build a nine figure business? Raise your hand. Okay. Who else in here wants to have, be a fucking marriage millionaire at home with their fucking wife or husband? Raise your hand. Okay, who else in here wants your children to look up to you as your hero? Raise your hand. 
Okay, lastly, would you stay in a relationship with somebody that constantly lied to you, yes or no? No. Next time you fucking say you're gonna do something, you say that you're going to do something and you commit to yourself, like right now, you're gonna make a decision right now to change. And you're gonna make a decision for the next 32 fucking minutes to pay attention to me. And I swear to God in my life, I pay you $100,000 if I don't change your life. It's impossible if you're listening. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918 210 0254. 918 210 0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. You guys make this decision, and I promise you, man, your family, your wife, your kids, you, God, everything's gonna just blow up. And everybody's gonna ask how you did it, and you know, you know how you did it? You just made a decision. And you gotta keep your word. So I wanted to make sure that you understand the hardest part of my life is keeping my word. To my team, to myself, to my wife, to my children, and really to you guys. So I have everything I want, but guess what? They're like, hey, this guy's made it? F that, I just fucking started. Yeah. Hey, who in here right now has had somebody bet against them? Go ahead, raise your fucking hand. What, some of you guys ain't never had anything bet against you? You're not doing fucking shit. This guy right here in the white with the tag, why do you fucking raise your hand, dude? Right there. Hey, the guy in the black, point to the guy over there, right next to you. Yeah, that motherfucker. Why didn't you raise your hand? Yeah, you're looking around like, who are we talking about? You ain't never had somebody bet against you? No, the guy next to you that didn't raise his hand. Why didn't you raise your hand? Didn't feel like it? Most people fucking don't. Most people don't feel like fucking participating or growing or changing or, or being aware or being present. You see the problem? Hey, and I'm not a dick. I want that guy to change. But somebody needs to hold his fucking ass accountable. Does that make sense? You know what I do as a leader? I hold myself accountable and I hold other people accountable. And if people don't like you, fuck them. Listen, you guys got to call your shots. Now, I want you to understand this. This is what I want for you guys. Let's sit down. This is what I want for you. We're going to take notes. We're going to train, and I'm going to teach you. Number one, and I'm calling that guy out because next time somebody says move, he needs to move, especially if that person has been where he wants to go. Now, if you don't want to love yourself, if you don't want whoever you're with in life to and admire you, if you don't want your children to look up to you, if you don't want to make more money than you know what to do with, if you don't want to keep your word, if you don't want to build a fucking army, hey, don't raise your fucking hand. Because you're nobody. I was a loser and I learned how to be a winner. These three things right here, everybody write this down. Be a psycho competitor. Fucking psycho! You must rip their throats out if they're going to compete against you. Do you understand? Okay, listen, God forgive me for the message I'm going to give today. I mean it. I mean it. You guys all pray for me on this one, but I'm going to change your life. Jesus flipped the tables over. He got pissed too. Okay, and some of you need a table fucking flipping right now. You got it? All right, number two, one, number one, be a psycho competitor. This is rule number one. Some of you, you're asleep. I look in your eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. You're asleep. Today's the awakening. If you want to insulate yourself against the world where no one can compete with you, you will become the greatest leader that's ever existed. I'm going to tell you how to do it today. You guys want to know how to do it? Yeah. All right, let me ask you a question. Don't lie to me either. If I teach you guys today how I changed my entire life, and I literally tell you systematically how to do it, will you do it? Yes. Okay, number two. Do you want me to feed you ice cream like a two, three, four, and five-year-old make you feel good and motivate you? Or do you want me to give you the cold, hard truth? Okay, you gave me fucking permission. Okay, so I don't want somebody in a little bit in case I call someone on stage to be like, oh man, I am fucking embarrassed. Shut your mouth. Okay, good. I'm glad you get embarrassed. Okay, everybody write down, bet against me. We're going to loop back to this in a minute because all of this, number one, being a psycho competitor is about thinking about everybody that bet against you. And by the way, it better not fucking be you. And that's why if you listen to what my wife said, She's the one that holds me accountable, and I do not like this. I try to run from accountability. It's always a fight, but she's always right. I love, she's always right. Listen, dude, hey, a lot of you in here, if, you, hey, if you're married to a woman, her intuition, I guarantee, in 99% of the time is way better than yours. 
Women have this natural intuition gift where they can be like, that's a bad guy. And you're like, babe, but you don't understand. And then four months later, you got fucking burned. She's like, why? Well, I told you. And you're like, yeah, but no, dude, you don't listen. And by the way, some of you in here, the reason why your girl doesn't tell you anymore is because you fucking shut her up and you don't listen to her. Now she doesn't warn you anymore. And how stupid would it be to have your best friend, your protector, who's going to be with you until you not feel like she can fucking warn you. Okay, some of you, you, listen, hey, today, there's two rules to business. Number one, don't ever let anyone know your business better than you. That's rule number one. But by the way, I don't care what you do in your business. If you don't become this badass today all the stuff I'm going to teach you you're not going to kill it in your business even if you know what to do and then rule number two you got to try to figure out how to kick your own ass every single day you guys right now listen to me don't listen to me for entertainment now please do not listen to me for entertainment I'm nobody I promise you I'm just getting fucking warmed up wait till you see what I'm gonna do in 2024 I literally live this fucking life this right here this is me this is not stage me this is me okay you guys know your holes. Everybody write down blind spot. You got a fucking blind spot, man. Okay, watch this. I want to ask everybody a question. We're driving in the car. You're getting over into the other lane. There's a car and I can see it and you're about to swerve into it. Would you like that person to honk the fucking horn and warn you? Yes or no? Yes. Most of you, they honk their horn, you give them the fucking finger. That's what I see. A lot of the times when I poke at people's marriages, you get pissed but your marriage is going in the trash can. A lot of you, listen to me, people don't have business problems in most cases. They have personal problems. Today, this fixes all of it, okay? Lastly, how to close anyone. Super fucking simple. If you become this person I'm talking about, you will never miss a sell again. Never. It's the easiest thing in the world for someone to say yes to somebody who's fucking real. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Do you guys have a bullshit meter? Yeah, so does the rest of the f***ing world. You don't think right now, I was just telling the guys in the back, 99% of f***ing social media is fake. Do you guys get that? Do you guys get that a lot of the people you look up to really aren't the f***ing way they are? You guys know that, right? Okay, what about you? What about you? Are you a f***ing fraud? Are you a fraud? Are you getting on social media every day? You're telling people, oh, i got to stay f***ing positive, got to f***ing win. Here's a picture of me and my wife. And then you go home and you're a f***ing piece of sh Listen, this is where we're going to create leaders that will change this fucking world. This isn't about politics. Look, dude, this is about becoming a great fucking excellent human being and leading your fucking family and changing your generational bloodline. And I swear to God, if you listen to me today, you will create this. And no one can take it away from you. It's a new fucking identity. And people will tell you you're crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. What do you want me to do? Shut up, be a loser, follow instructions, and be a fucking brokey? Like, is that what they want you to do? Yes. Do you guys think people really want to see you fucking win? No. You're fucking stupid. No, yes, you're exactly right. No, they don't want to see you win. And when you go to get what you want, the people around you, you'll learn that most of them never loved you. When you go to get more, they'll say, fuck you. I don't like what you're doing. I think what you're doing is stupid. You're embarrassing the family. Shut your mouth. No one's ever stood up for your family and the first time someone does, it's fucking embarrassing. You know what's embarrassing? Stay in the fucking same. You guys, we're gonna get to teaching. These are the three things I'm about today. Psycho competitor. Number one about being a psycho competitor, there's three forms of competitiveness. Number one, you got the 99 percenters, they don't exist. And by the way, I love you. We have a lot of 99 percenters in here today who are going to make a decision to be in one of these two top boxes right now. Either the 1% or the 0.0001%. You must decide, you must become sold on that, and you must never be fucking reasonable with anything less than I will be the top 0001%. And by the way, don't be fucking arrogant. If you have holes, you must fix them, go to war, work on yourself. Here's the beautiful thing right now, guys. Everybody's asleep. Everybody's asleep. I see all these fucking jokers walking around. You know, most of these people, these coaching companies out, they're going to be out of business in a year. You know, most of these motherfuckers running around telling people what to do, they're going to be gone in a year. You know, a lot of your people right now that are telling you to do this in a year, they're going to be doing something different. You feel me? No ways. What I'm about to teach you will teach you to make money for decades. 
So who are you going to become? This is super important. The recipe to becoming the top is very simple. What does it say behind me? You got to find an enemy. Is anybody like Patrick Bet David? What does he say? Find a fucking enemy. All right, right now, I need you to think. Who fucking told you you weren't going to make it? Come on, who told you? Can you think of their name right now, yes or no? See, I, see that's a fucking problem. Can you guys think of somebody right now that told you you weren't going to make it? Yes. Okay, I remember when I started my business with my wife, I remember us telling some people that we thought loved us and cared about us what we were going to do, and you know what they fucking did? They told us that we're fucking stupid, and there's not a chance in hell this is going to happen, and I said, you fucking watch. And you know what they said? Hey, man, I'm just joking, dude. I don't like that fucking joke. I don't like that fucking joke. That isn't very funny to me. I don't like that shit because I don't like where I'm at. And that's a joke to you. And if a joke is funny, it's funny between two people. And I don't find it fucking funny. So I write their fucking name down. I wrote down what they said in quotes. And that motherfucker, I think about him. And when I feel like quitting and I don't feel like waking up and I got a problem, I just reach into this little baggie and I pull out with that motherfucker says and now I'm back awake you guys get it yeah. right now everybody write down write down what's a person by the way hey I'm not motivating you I'm telling you how to fucking go to war when you get out of here I'm telling you how when you leave you're not motivated do you need to be motivated if you can write down the name of the person that bet against you no. may God have listen do me a favor write this down who is the person what's their name write it down right now May God have mercy on my enemies, because I fucking won't. I am not forgetting the people that bet against me. And by the way, some of you, you say, Andy, isn't that hateful? Listen, you'll never compete with me. You're going to get smoked forever. You don't want it. I see your eyes. I see your soul. You fucking quit. You want comfort? Stay the same. What I'm trying to do is introduce you to the best version of yourself. I want you guys to meet someone today that you never fucking knew existed. I am not fucking around. There is someone inside of every one of you in this room, male and female, you have no fucking clue what you're capable of. My wife, she is dangerous. And I thought at, at some point in time, she was just a housewife and she was taking care of my kids. And dude, I was so fucking lost. I was just working. It was just, I was numb. And dude, thank God I woke up. Thank God my wife one day goes, hey, Andy, we've learned to live without you. And she fucking pissed me off. Thank God my wife one day grabbed my love handle and go, you getting a little comfortable? And I'm like, what? I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? And I was getting comfortable. My wife knows I play my best game when I'm in shape. Who, who agrees with that? You guys know what I mean? Dude, when you guys like you, do you play your best game? If anybody's ever gotten in shape, are you more confident when you go to the gym? Dude, my wife saw me fucking sliding, and you know what she did? She called me out, and it pissed me off. It made me go insane for about 24 hours. I had ego crawling. How could she say that? How could she say that? How could she say that? And some of you in here right now, you know exactly your whole life that you were meant to be somebody else. Okay, and I know that in you. Listen, one thing about me is I can believe in most of you in here more than you believe in you. I swear to God, I maybe have never met you. I am positive if a loser like me that was raised in a loser family can self-develop, recreate, and reinvent myself, so can you. And I know that, and that's not motivational. That's a fucking fact. So, some of you today, you need to realize, like, dude, you know, what did they fucking say? Who, do, who are they? Can you guys envision their face right now? What'd they say? Can you envision their faces? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. What'd they fucking say? Who are they? They're either going to be fucking right or they're going to be fucking wrong. I don't need you to say anything to them. So I want to introduce you to somebody you've never met. Now, how do we identify the enemy? I wrote this down. Write down the most painful comments of whoever said something, who they are, and I need you to give an example kind of looks like this. You'll never make it without me, mom. You'll never find someone as good as me, ex-girlfriend. You're a loser, coach. Does that make sense? Can you guys write it down? Does everybody got one thing wrote down, yes or no? 
Eight people wrote something down. You want me to say something to you guys? Okay, I can walk through and I can say something to every one of you motherfuckers to piss you off. You, can you guys think of something somebody said about you, yes or no? Yes. Did you write it down? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. Write their name down. Hey, this is a part of being a competitor, okay? Who said some shit to you? Who was it? John. Who? John. Okay, what about her? Your mom? What'd she say? Huh? You never f make it. You know what I want you to do? I want you to f remember that until you f die. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments. Tell me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. And every single time you and him, are you, is that your husband? Every time you and him are getting in a fight, every time you guys see the kids arguing and you're becoming ungrateful and you're going back to being like your parents or you're someone else or somebody that you're not, every time you see him going to work or you guys are going to do something, you gotta fucking support him, he's gotta support you, you guys are thinking, hey, they fucking said this about us. And you guys may not think that this matters, just stay the same. That's what they want you to do. Do you guys get it? You know what the world wants you to do? Conform and consume and produce. Be in a fucking cycle, conform to the world, consume and produce and do like fucking this. Am I right? All right, there's three types of people right now and I didn't put it on the slides, but I'm gonna tell you. In case anybody's interested in this fucking grand new life and the ride of a lifetime and fucking millions of dollars. Who's in on that? Yeah. Don't fucking lie to me. Okay, if you're in, here's what we got. Everybody write down the laborer. You got the mother that goes to work and works for someone else. Number two, you got the owner of the company. Those are the two things that have been existing our entire life. Well, now there's a number three. The number three can be an entrepreneur or an entrepreneur. We do our work differently. We care. We operate. We make connections. We know how to sell. We're unique. We stand out. We're fucking different. Dude, do you, do you guys know the market right now will reward you more than you ever imagined if you can become this number three? Some of you guys right now, you work for someone else. Are you the biggest needle mover in that company? Are you doing big shit where everybody's got your name in their mouth? Yeah. Dude, listen, see that? We got two people saying yeah. You're not. Dude, do you think you're gonna open your own fucking business? No ways. I don't care whether you run your own company or you work for someone else. Are you the best in the world at what you do? In order to do this, you must become a psycho competitor. Do you guys feel me? Yes or no? Yes. All right. If you're competing against me, write this down. If you compete against me in my industry, I will rip your throat out. Jesus, forgive us today. Everybody understand this. This is the edge. Everybody write down the edge. What's your edge? What's your edge going to be? How the f*** are you going to leave here differently? Number one, you're going to leave here with a couple enemies. And by the way, it's not your wife. It's not your husband. It's not your fucking team. In most cases, it's either you, truth, or it's somebody else. Some of you, you're a fucking, you're a fucking problem. And you need to unfuck yourself right now. And what I love about my wife is that, listen, I want to tell you guys a little secret. We, we don't say we can't do stuff. And I know that she said that to you guys. You don't want to fucking do it. Let me be clear to every one of you right now. Every one of you can do whatever you want. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. Jason, come here. Let me show you guys something. So I'm going to use an example on my man Jason here. Jason, come here. Take your shirt off, Jason. Come on, everybody give it up for Jason. Yeah. Come on, Jason. Jason started, Jason owns a big company in Texas. Great dude, owns a big dent repair company and a bunch of other shit. Jason's really been working on himself lately. No, we're gonna take off the whole fucking shirt, big dog. Today, we're gonna make you famous. All right, you guys ready? Who in here right now wants me to show you how to get the life you want, you ready? Yeah. All right, you ready? Let's take this off. All right, 
so we got this deal right here you see this hold, hold on hey you guys ready to grow yeah. okay this is called self-control anybody know what that is what is self-control it's the ability to be able to control yourself is it good to exercise every day okay is it good to manifest and have big dreams is it good to eat good food But look around, we don't see it anymore. I'm about to get leadership here in a minute and I'm gonna explain, explain why all this makes sense. You see this right here, okay? This discipline, okay? You ready? Everybody ready? Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. Jason's like, what the fuck are we doing, <laughs> right? You see this, everybody, what do you think I'm writing down? Nope. Consistency, oh, fucking imagine that, doing it every day? What? You're saying I can't do it anymore for two weeks and then quit? Most of you in here, you're quitters. You know why you're never gonna fucking make it? It's because you quit. You fucking quit. I don't even need to beat you. You fucking beat you. You beat yourself. Nobody's ruining your life. Nobody's self-sabotaging you. Nobody's fucking you up. The market is dying to pay you. You're fucking weak. You don't have consistency, you don't have control, and you don't have, you don't have discipline. And guess what? I'm gonna tell you this last thing. What do you think this last little one is gonna be? What do you think it's gonna be? Ready? Own, I love this, Jason, this is great. This is a new bonding experience. Own, own your shit. You guys hear me? Own your shit, okay? You got things going on in your life right now that need to be fixed, am I right? Yeah. Sir. Whose fault is it? Mine. That's right. Most of you in here right now, you want to blame someone else for everything going wrong. You're the problem. Are you guys ready to really learn how to be a great leader now? Yeah. Okay, see this guy? See this guy? He's in the process of becoming a great leader. I know by this next summer, he's a client of mine that I'm coaching, and I told him if he didn't have a six pack by next summer, I'm firing him as a client. <laughs> And I'm not fucking playing around because I don't need his money. I need him to fucking change. Okay? I'm not going to be the reason why his wife goes, you spent all that money in the coaching program, it didn't work. No, I'm going to fire his fucking ass. So either he's going to get what he said he wanted or he's out. Don't be a crowd pleaser. Everybody listen to me. Don't be a fucking ass kisser. Live a life that counts and call your own shot. I need everybody in this room today to write down a fucking dream that they want. Guess what? If you don't have a big ass fucking dream, I'm gonna beat your fucking ass. I'm gonna smoke you. You know why? Because you're gonna hit your little baby bitch fucking dream and then you're gonna quit working. And you're gonna run around and talk shit like you fucking made it. Now you're gonna be the next influencer telling everybody how you fucking won. No fucking way. You're gonna create a big ass fucking dream and then there's another big ass dream after that one and then there's another mother fucking mountain and then there's another mother fucking mountain and then we'll can die one day that's the life and listen some of you you can't get past certain problems I have I said I told my wife I'm not gonna cuss when I get up here bam I freaking didn't keep my word but I knew I wasn't I knew I was gonna cuss you know why and that's why I asked you to forgive me and I'm, I'm telling you the truth guys there has to be some kind of controlled anger that can get you pissed off if you're sitting here right now and you're not moved by what I'm saying you're finished. You can't be woke. You're fucking dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. And it's not my fault. It's your fucking fault. And you can get mad at me all you want. You're a little fucking hater. Okay? I'm telling you guys, listen to me. If you don't have a lot of haters right now, you're not doing fucking shit. Yeah. You're not doing nothing. That's why you're not bothering nobody. When you fucking don't have any haters, you ain't even done nothing yet. When you start to rise, a sign of success is an increase in haters. Does that make sense? Okay, so if you don't have people getting fucking pissed off, well, how do I deal with this bad comment? <laughs> Got fucking millions a day. Dude, they hate it when the point zero 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 one percent that they could have been do the work, stay consistent, stay disciplined, own their shit. Jason, thank you. This will be the last time we see you in this shape. Hell yeah. I know that you're growing. Listen, why would I, can I ask you a question? How many people are hiding underneath their clothes? 
You don't think we fucking see you? You're like, oh, they can't tell I got a sweater on. We fucking see you. I can see your neck. Hey, by the way, I'm not a comedian. I'm just making a point. Does everybody understand what I'm saying, yes or no? Yeah. All right, Elliott Army core values. A leader must decide what are the core values for those that are around them. I've created 3.0. That's what my wife just showed on the screen, 3.0. This does not need to be you, but this is the way that I run. If you will be around me, you will need to operate this way. I do not need you to be perfect. I do not need you to have a, a perfect life. I just know, are you becoming better every day? Yes or no? If it's no, get out of here. If it's yes, let's roll. I will be loyal to you till I die, but I must get these things. This is the code of excellence in our company. The leader's job is to decide what is the standard and they must live by it. Does that make sense? So you create your own when you get out of here and hang it on your fucking wall. This is not a joke to me. This is not a joke. We execute daily on this, and if somebody doesn't do it, we fucking check their ass. In our company, I have 100 killers. My team, we have five guys here right now, my wife. We have 100 back home. If anybody's ever been to our place in Scottsdale, Arizona, you can feel the energy from the street. It is fucking wild. When we talk to each other, we are very direct. Hey, bro, you just walked by that trash. You didn't execute, take the initiative. Also, when you saw it, you should have executed, take the initiative, and you didn't fucking take responsibility to pick it up. So come over here with me, walk with me to the trash can, and that goes in the fucking trash can. Do you get it? You can't take over the world if you can't pick up a piece of trash. This, this is about fucking doing what's right. You guys get it? These aren't rules. Some of you are like, oh, they're the rules. F they are. These are fucking standards. And the reason why fucking a lot of countries are in trouble in the world is because nobody has any fucking standards anymore. So just look at my standards. And by the way, I'm going to fuck them up every day. But I'm going to keep getting better. And I'm going to try my hardest until I die to prove to my people, my team, my children, and myself that I can execute excellence. That is the leader. Now. This is important to you. It says how to close anyone, anytime, any place, anywhere. How do you do that? How do you close anybody, anytime, any place, anywhere? How do you do it? Somebody tell me. It's easy. Solve the problem. What do you do for a living? Uh, I have a. Uh, Come on, spit it out, son. Solar construction company. Solar construction company. What do you sell? Uh, to my clients, that uh, I'm the best person. What do you sell? Product. What product? Solar. Construction. We're you sell construction. Large scale solar farms around the, around the Okay, US. stop. All right, never mind. Let's go to someone else. First of all, everybody write this down. How to get the point across in 30 seconds or less. Does everybody understand? Hey, I'm not being a dick. Did anybody understand what he was saying? He's like, dude, I do solar constructions, you know, kind of. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck happened? Okay, time out. Mr. and Mrs. Client, this is what we do. Be very clear. Guys, you want to know how to close anybody? Become a master communicator. You must know how to communicate. I must take what I have in my head, explain it to you, and you must understand the value and then want to be a part of it. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, keep the client's goals at the center of the decision. People are one decision away from changing their life forever, are they not? Is your product good? Are you doing somebody a disservice if they don't give you the credit card or sign the contract if your product is good? Yes or no? If you don't do your job right, they could accidentally end up in the competition's hands who don't do a good job, right? And I just can't live with that. You guys get this? How easy is it to sell when you can become this? Now, how do you close anybody? You want to know? Be the leader. Write this down. I'm going to go quick, okay? Be the leader. Number one, three rules to leadership. All right, who's getting something out of this? Raise your hand. Yeah. All right, everybody listen to me. Three, three levels to leadership. If you can do what I'm going to tell you right now, you will be unstoppable. Number one, self-leadership. Self-leadership. What does that start with? It starts with yourself. My team, they can't dare talk to someone else until they're taking care of their shit. Number one, self-leadership. Number two, leading others. Now, when you lead yourself, you get to lead others. Number three, leading leaders to build more leaders. Elliot Army.
This is a company, and it was the Elliott Group, and I realized that an individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. Everybody write this down. An individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. You cannot beat a team. You may be better than me, but my team will fucking smoke you. That is my superpower. I train my team to be 10 times better than me. Can I ask you guys a question? Has anybody ran into any of our five people here today? How did they treat you? Amazing. How did they onboard you to our brand? How, 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 did, how did they make you feel? My energy valued much. Don't you wish we had more of that in this world? Yes. Okay, what can all of you do in here today? Exactly. What can all of you do? Yes, all of you in here can stop playing small. All of you in here right now, the way that you operate quickly right with your family, with your team, and with yourself will be the way that anybody will ever want to follow you because a follower is somebody who voluntarily follows the leader without money involved. You see these guys, they don't work for me. I earn the right to be their leader every day because being a leader is a privilege. Yeah. You guys get it? Yeah. Is being a leader a privilege, yes or yeah. no? Yeah. Can your fucking people fire the leader? Yeah. Leaders don't like hearing that. Leaders can get fired just like people can get fired by the leaders. I'm going to tell you why I tell people I'll give you 10 million cash if you can recruit somebody on my team. It's because they don't work for money. Do you guys? Last one minute, two minutes. Do you guys want to build something that nobody can ever tear apart? Yes. Yeah. You f***ing for real? Yeah. 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 Become the example. Do me a favor. You're going to walk out of here today, and you guys all got a lot of work to do. You always will have a lot of work to do. But this work that I'm talking about isn't labor hard work. I need you to go look in the mirror. And I need you to understand that you are the one, everything falls and rises on the leader. You're the reason why your business isn't growing, why you're not scaling in sales. You're the reason why your marriage isn't on fire. You're the reason why you're not in shape. You're the reason for everything. And I want you to fucking own it all. And I want you to put all that weight on your back. And I want you to look at yourself and be like, hey, leaders carry the weight. I'm good. I'm good. And then I want you to prove that you're going to keep your word and you're going to change. I want you to call your shot. I want you to write down who you're going to be. Patrick B David says, future truth. Who are we going to become? And we are going to write that down. Who do you want to be? How do they act? How do they behave? What do they look like? How do they take care of people? What kind of energy do they have? How do they speak? And we are going to be fucking come that right this minute. Will you be a liar? Yes, you will for a short period of time. But in due time, you won't be lying anymore, and that will be really who you are. Does that make sense? Then when you're the leader, step one, now people will start to voluntarily follow you as the leader by the way you treat your wife, by the way you treat your team, by the way that you treat your client, by the way that you talk good to yourself, by the way that you bring good into the world without anything in fucking return. Imagine someone walking up to a beautiful girl saying, hey, you look beautiful. Hey, I don't want anything from you. You look beautiful. You look great. Have a blessed day. It just doesn't happen anymore. Hey, man, I walk up to a guy in the gym or even a gal. I'm like, man, you look phenomenal. Your physique is great. I don't need anything from you. You look great. Keep it up. How would people feel if you did that? This is called being a good motherfucking human being. And I'm going to tell you guys something. You want to know how I got rich? I decided to stop being a fucking bag. I learned that nothing in this world was about me and that leaders are selfless. And they do everything for their team, but they got to be the leader first before anyone's even going to listen to them. Because I'm sick of listening to fucking people that are frauds and don't keep their word and don't do what they say they're going to do. I'm fucking sick of it. If you come try to give me advice, I want to find people who have gone where I want to go. Lastly, you're going to do life with somebody at some point. Am I right? Yes or no? They're your battle mate. They're, they're your fucking battle mate. Mate, you take care of them all the days of your life and take them with you. When I order a self-development book, guess who also gets one? You guys get it? Yeah, she says, I order them first. See what we've created? Who wants to do this? Raise your hand. Okay, lastly, who's got children? Raise your hand. Wouldn't it be a fucking shame 
if your children looked up to someone else when you spent most of your life with them and it wasn't you? You know what I tell leaders all the time? I walk into rooms, I, I pull their people in a room, I hand them all a piece of paper, and I say, do me a favor, all the team, write down the name of your mentor on this piece of paper, fold it in half, put it in the center of the room, and then you guys can leave. And when they leave, I tell the leaders to come here, the managers, whatever, the owners, and I open the pieces of paper and I go, where the f is your name? And they go, I, I don't know. Do you guys understand? 30 more seconds. Your job is to be the mentor for other people in this world. Do you get that? Do you know that this isn't about you? You being fucking ripped, jacked, insane, better looking, psycho competitor, being the leader, taking care of people, that's what gets you fucking rich. Guys, this fucking world is dying to pay you. It's so easy. I'm going to go kill it this year. I'll coach you, I'll train you, I'll press you, but I can't make you want to change. No one can. When they, they say when the pain overrides the fear of change, people change. Stop being a fucking afraid of changing. If you die right now, is this how you want to be remembered? The fucking way you are right now? No. I don't want to go out this way. I got more work to do. Man, I want you guys to give it all you got. I want you guys to consciously be present and pay attention. My last name was Elliot. I decided to change my last na name into a movement. My team, they all have a last name. My job is to make their last name count. Yeah. I've given up my name so I could build a business, so I could give everybody in my company a fucking name. Does that make sense? I appreciate you. I'm grateful for you. Let's go fucking get it. Let's go. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.